Hey, it's Chris Welch with The Verge, and we're checking out LG's new V30 premium flagship phone. All it takes is one look to know this is the nicest Android phone that LG's ever made. It's also one of the most powerful, but it loses one big thing that power users might really care about. But let's start with the design. The V30 is covered in glass on both sides, and it's got a shiny metal frame in between. It's also got a big, tall, 6-inch Quad HD OLED screen that curves at the sides, but it's not as curved as the Galaxy S8. They still look a lot alike, though. Now, the V30's bezels are very minimal. It's got an 82% screen-to-body ratio, and it's also got every important spec checked off. Snapdragon 835, 4 gigs of RAM, wireless charging, water resistance, and a headphone jack with a quad DAC that audiophiles will love. LG has also gotten rid of that awkward and gimmicky second screen that was on the V20, and I say good riddance to that. But right away, fans of the V20 will notice something different about the back. There's no removable battery. This one is a sealed-in 3300 mAh battery, and that's got me a bit concerned since the V30 has such a big screen. Samsung uses the same size battery for its new Galaxy Note 8, but Samsung's last note burst into flames sometimes, so that's a bit more understandable. Thankfully, the V30 still has the dual camera setup that LG is known for. The main 16 megapixel camera has an aperture of f1.6, so it's gonna pull in more light than just about any other smartphone for those nighttime shots. The super wide angle 13 megapixel camera has less distortion than ever, and I really like the unique perspective that it gives you. To me, this seems like a better use for a second camera than just a portrait lens, which is what Apple and Samsung are using. LG is putting a big focus on the V30's 4K video recording features. You can apply professional color grading to your footage right on the phone itself. And if you do prefer to edit on your computer, the V30 can record videos in log format to retain the most dynamic range and detail. The microphones inside can record audio in lossless quality, and they won't distort. So if you're the kind of person who records every moment of a concert, here's your new phone. The worst thing about the V30 in my early experience continues to be LG's software, which hasn't changed much over the last few years and remains an eyesore. The phone is running Android 7 Nougat, and this time LG has added face unlock and voice unlock. So you can say, okay Google, or come up with your own phrase to unlock your phone. Face unlock is pretty quick, but don't count on it to be quite as secure as Samsung's iris scanning. So here's the upshot. If you love using your phone to record and create content, which is what LG's V-Series is all about, then this might be the phone for you. We'll just have to see how long that battery lasts when it ships later on this year. As for price, it's going to be pretty expensive. This is a flagship phone and a step above the G6. But if nothing else, that screen's got me excited for the Pixel 2 XL, which is rumored to be manufactured by none other than LG.